Welcome to Healthy Bites. I am the producer of Healthy Bites. My name is Karen White, and uh, we have a little treat for you. We are, I am going to give you just a short nibble on a healthy recipe, especially for meals, um, using a quesadilla. So in this short segment, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to throw one together. Um, so let's get started. I have here butter, um, and as a dietitian, I'm gonna show you how little I use to start the pan. Um, I'm just gonna kinda coat the pan just a tiny, tiny bit. And because I am a dietitian, I even wipe it a little bit with a paper towel. Um, so as you can see, very, very, very little butter. I have used Pam in the past. It does not come out the same. Um, so you, this is how you start your pan, and I have the heat on here. So the first step is you're gonna take out a tortilla for, to start your quesadilla. Now I have here a whole wheat tortilla. So for each half, you are actually gonna get four grams of fiber. So if you consume a whole quesadilla, that's eight grams of fiber. And if you've been watching my show, you know as Americans, we do not get enough fiber. And there's a lot of benefits to fiber. The fiber can help with blood sugar control. It can help to decrease your risk for heart disease. It also helps to keep your intestines nice and healthy, which helps to prevent uh, cancers of the colon. So there's a lot of good benefits to fiber. So this is one recipe in which you can, to show you how you can get some fiber into your diet. Um, so the next step, you have your tortilla at the bottom of the pan. I like a lot of flavor in a quesadilla. My husband and I really enjoy quesadillas. And I put a little salsa just to start. Salsa will give it a lot of flavor. And you've got your tomatoes. So tomatoes can be obviously a form, uh, give you some vitamin C, as well as some phytochemicals like lycopene. So there's, you start with a little bit of salsa on the bottom. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese, cause cheese acts as the glue. And to keep the fat content down, I'm using uh, reduced fat, a low fat cheese, and the Mexican variety to give a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little cheese on the bottom. And cheese, of course, most people do know as a dairy group, uh, is going to give you some calcium, vitamin D, as well as protein. So calcium is good for bones. Protein is good for keeping your muscle and tissue, um, helping to build that. So there's your, your cheese. And then for some of the toppings. I have black beans here. So I'm going to put some black beans. And in general, we don't get enough of the bean group. And beans are a great source of fiber, again, as well as your um, B vitamins. And folic acid, thiamine, riboflavin, they give you a lot of energy. They help us to make energy. Without B vitamins, you can't make energy and you feel tired. So they're a great source of those B vitamins. Also corn, corn is another excellent source of fiber. So hopefully you're seeing there's gonna be a lot of color in this quesadilla. Okay. And to give it some added spunk and flavor, I like to add green onion and red onion. Onion and what you may not realize is, but before the show, I washed everything because it's very important to always have, uh, keep food sanitation in mind. So everything's been washed, my hands are clean, and I did do some chopping so I can um, show you in less than five minutes how to put this beautiful quesadilla together. So I'm gonna sprinkle some red onion and green onion into the quesadilla. And red onion and green onion um, also give you phytochemicals and cilantro as well. So sprinkle a little cilantro, which is a nice herb. And phytochemicals, um, just in general, they help to protect us against cancer, uh, certain types of cancers and heart disease. So we always stress to eat the colors of the rainbow because in those colors you have, there's, I think we know of maybe there's over, 
6,000 phytochemicals that we know of, there's a ton. And each of those phytochemicals have these protective properties and they are in the different colors, um, which is why I'm stressing you know, colors here with the quesadilla, fruits and vegetables, think colors, they give you a lot of um, different phytochemicals. So sprinkle some cilantro for flavor. Um, if you had chicken left over from uh, a night, you could also put chicken into the quesadilla and there you have some added protein. Okay, now that I have all my little spices in here, I'm going to add some more cheese because again, um, cheese acts as the glue, keeping it together. So hopefully, right, the camera up above is probably showing you how pretty this is looking. And now you are ready for the top. So you're just going to put place another tortilla on the top. And now you're just going to wait for um, the bottom to start to brown a bit and for the cheese to melt. And then we'll be able to flip it. Um, so just a little bit more information. I actually brought like a container of cilantro in case you've not had the pleasure of experimenting with this herb yet. Um, but if I open the packaging so you can see the herb. Um, so this is what cilantro looks like, and again, you just wash it up and chop it up, and um, don't be afraid to throw it into some dishes like the quesadilla. So I'm going to check on it. Oh, it's starting to brown rather nicely. Uh, I'm going to flip it, and hopefully, there we go. Might make, don't be afraid to make a little bit of a mess. Um, but that is it. This is a quesadilla, and once it browns on the bottom, you are ready to um, enjoy it, consume it. So this is great. I mean, I'm a mom, and I know sports are really kicking up right now. This works if you have, you don't, you only have like a half an hour to make dinner, and you don't know what to cook, and you want it to be quick and healthy. Try the quesadilla. It can also make a great appetizer. Um, and again, in the summertime, you, you could use it as a meal as well. Uh, it's quick. It's not going to heat up the house. And for toppings, I would suggest using guacamole. Uh, guacamole is, if you're watching, if you've watched the show on fats, uh, it is high in monounsaturated fat, which helps to protect you against heart disease. And if you like sour cream, our lower fat alternative, try the Greek. Um, the plain yogurt and it, it tastes very similar to sour cream and it's a healthier alternative. So um, again, try a quesadilla and come watch my show. I'm on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11.30, Mondays and Wednesdays at 5.30, 5.30 and on Saturdays at 9 o'clock. So come check out Healthy Bites and I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear if you have any healthy recipes you'd like to share and if I use a recipe of yours, um, have a prize for you. I, you could, make you one of these uh, aprons that has healthy bites on it. But any feedback, I would can't stress that enough. I would love to hear from you. And email me at healthybites at westborotv.org. Thanks for listening and hope to see you um, from my show. Thank you.